up, everybody? This is Josh for Outlaw Window Cleaning Radio. Outlaw Window Cleaner Radio. Um, we're here tonight with Tim Huber, uh, my boy TJ Gilbert, and uh, our special guest, Mr. New York himself, Josh Thompson. What's this up, Josh? New York What's up, City. Josh. <laughs> What's up? Uh, quick backstory on me and Josh, Josh and I, Josh and Josh. Um, about two years ago, we became uh, maybe three years of Facebook friends, acquaintances to the industry. Um, I called him out of the blue one night for some for some advice, and he has not stopped giving it to me for the last three years ever since. Um, and uh, even I'll when it's not what, asked, even, <laughs> even, even when it's not asked, I, I, you know, I stick my nose in there and be like, "Yo, yo, whoa, 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 whoa," you know. I ain't trying to tell oh, yeah. you how to do things, but if it was me, this is this is what I would do, you know. We uh, so we hit it off right away. Um, he freely gave me some very, very valuable information. I took it and ran, uh, and we are still implementing uh, stuff in Josh the Window Cleaner LLC from you know one conversation with him. So um, I'm going to let him whoa. take the reins. I'm going to have to. I'm going to wait, wait, wait. I got to interrupt for a second. Whoa, yeah. whoa, um, the whoa. one thing I do mm-hmm. notice in this picture is that he does not have. A Thompson, Thompson touch or anything like he doesn't have like Thompson touch underwear, a blazer, no. hat. I mean, and Josh does not own a single it. thing without his name like printed on it. Everything Josh owns has got his fucking name on it, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Dumb. I'm He's got Josh actually. the window cleaner on that big purple uh, blazer he wears with the blue, the baby blue pinstripes. He's got he's got his fucking logo on that too. That's Mr. Right, right inside. There. It's, it's, <laughs> right. it's on the inside. I, I like that. I like that. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. Yeah, no, man. I mean, Josh is—he's kind of been there from from you know immediately through our friendship on Facebook. Um, I reached out, I had some questions, and he was there. I mean, he was there, and uh, from there we we talk every couple of days, and uh, he's making big moves in New York. I'm gonna hand it over to him. Go ahead, Josh. I I would say you're giving me way too much credit. <laughs> and uh, you're not known for being humble, so stop. Right, that. Yeah. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Then, yeah, then, then, uh, then I would say that uh, you don't know me that well, right? Because I, uh, you know, can't forget where you came from, you know, right? So it's right. like that's the main thing you know, there, yep. Yeah, you know, I mean, listen, you know, I'm I'm blessed to be in like a really, really good hot market, you know, I mean, you know, they have a lot of red tape and a lot of regulations in the city and stuff like that. I also have like a great, great, great team around me. And I mean, that's really like what it's all about, like Mm -hmm. about your squad, you know what I mean? It's funny, I was watching like this motivational video with like Diddy and he's just like, you know, he's like, I will not be in like second place. And he's like, my team has to understand that. I don't know. Yeah, you have to look it up. You know, I'm, I'm like big on all, like motivational stuff, you know, <sighs> but that, you know, it's, it, it's, I cannot take all the credit at all because I would not be in the position I am without the help of my valuable, valuable team members. And I like to consider myself as not a builder of, of a business. I, I feel like I'm building my team members. So I'm building my people and my people are building my business. Right. So, uh, and it's like kind of like that whole, you know, you big have brother. That yeah. You gotta have that mutual respect. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Of, and you used to turn squeegees, correct? So, I yes. Mean, so you got an idea. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the guys going through anyways. How did you get, how did you get into the industry? Um, I was like 16 years old. So, I mean, I'm, literally been cleaning windows half my life at this point so there is nothing about this window cleaning game that you can't tell me i uh my i started working for this guy he had this like this burger king route you know Mm -hmm. and um yeah i don't know yeah like 20 burger kings i got hit like once a week and i had like this honda civic and a bucket and i'm like cruising around hitting all these burger kings and right you know, I made some decent money for a kid, you know, so I'm like, you know, thinking I'm this 17 year old hot shot, you know, that got a couple bucks in his pocket, you know, and yeah, let, let, listen, if you can see me now, imagine like a, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, like, I, like a 20, a 20, 20 right. yeah, 20 year old version of what you see today. Right. Little poly D. There's probably yeah, some yeah, hard body karate for sure going yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was, it was bad. It was bad. It was bad. <laughs> But yeah, you know, I did that and um, 
I, I spent some time in South Florida, did some win- high rise window cleaning. That's really, I kind of like really polished my high rise game. Mm-hmm. I've pretty much worked for three separate window cleaning companies that service this three sectors of the industry. I serve uh, retail, I worked for a retail guy, I worked for this lady that did residential. That's all she did. And then I also worked for this high rise guy. So if you kind of look at what the makeup of what my company is today, it's a mix of storefronts it's a mix of residential i hate residential by the way it's it's, it's the worst um and uh no no we can all agree i think with that. <laughs> it's hard it's hard and then and, and then high rise you know right. so it's like i mean my main focus is uh i would say more so on high rise like the residential stuff i just kind of like pass off i'm gonna and, i'm gonna say this what's, right what's here. up I, what's up what's I up i would not have the balls to swing over the fucking edge like that there's especially you know after about 50 60 feet it kind of gets a little sketchy for me you know what i mean like, yeah oh. no 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 that's fine that's fine i mean yeah. the, the guys that work for us are all like you know adrenaline junkies right, you know right. the same guys kind of guy man yeah it's their special yeah, yeah i mean yeah these guys are like veterans they're in the military they ride right. their motorcycle to work you know, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they're, right. they're, you know, it's like that, you know, live fast, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're definitely diehard ad- adrenaline Now, now I mean, don't get me man. wrong. No, no don't question. get me wrong. I go out on the roof, too. I go, I go out on the roof, too. I'll, I'll, I'll go right out to the edge and, you know, look over, you know. Right. Um, so it's, it's, that's not, but I mean, also, too, with all the things that you have available, I mean, you guys have like, a, you know, like a, the Jeff Scott's out there yeah. and, uh, you know, Mike Draper doing his thing. Yeah. You know, these guys, it's are providing safety training they didn't have safety training when i came up doing this it was like darwinism it was like you better go tie a rope off to something and (laughs) you know get to it you know right okay so yeah and i would definitely encourage anybody uh that is considering getting into high rise to go through the proper channels and get trained, get the train. This guy hit me up on Instagram. He's like, yo man, like, like, like I follow your page and you're like so (laughs) cool. And, uh, I went out and bought some ropes and, uh, we did our first high rise job the other day. I was like, like, did anybody die? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty balls to the wall. Fuck yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, I, like, that's fucking next level. I give the guy, I give the guy right a lot there. of respect. I don't know I about that. Lot of respect. Was, that I, might I, be I, the I, Darwin Award winner right there. That dude yeah, is really yeah, pushing I don't know. it, I was man. Like, oh. I was like, I was like, I was like, you did sketchy. it all that off of uh, <laughs> just watching my Instagram page, like. <laughs> you should hire him. So yeah, um, no, it, was, it was like a Cali cat. It was a California cat. I have a, I have another question for you. I what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I seen a while back you posted in our Facebook group, our forum, uh, about Whoa. the uh, the allegedly uh, allegedly 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 I posted <laughs> yeah. in the outlaws and you yeah. know so about some, I wonder what's going to be asked. Anchor, anchor systems anchor systems oh, oh I thought we anchors. were going in a different direction anchors anchors <laughs> okay. anchors yeah I'm yeah. real fucking professional sir i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> yeah no, i'd like to know more about it i think the guys everyone else would be interested too i know a lot of guys they like the cut-ups but they also like the information too so we got to make sure we get the information in there too and i know you uh all right i would incur that, i can so. I, I i can provide you with a link to to post in on this but okay. basically osha's uh 1910 Mm-hmm. Okay, OSHA 1910 new regulations okay. um, are kind of requiring, they're splitting the responsibilities, mm-hmm. um, not solely on the contractor. They're putting the responsibility more so on the building owner to provide a safe working environment for the contractor. Okay, okay. Cool. Hey, uh, part of that reason is... Um, uh, Minnesota, like we have like a Minnesota to thank for this, you know, okay. um, basically in Minnesota, there was like been like an extraordinary amount of like fatalities and serious injuries and stuff like that, you know? So it's like, there's all these people out in the Midwest. Or just Amy Carroll, what are you doing out there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They're just dropping off of buildings out there. You know, I don't, I don't Jeez, know what's going on, you crazy, know, man. but when, when, when you have that type of, uh, when you have that type of stuff happen, you know, you catch attention. And this is what, you know, it's, it's really a good thing, you know, right. because, you know, like I said, they didn't have any of this stuff when, you know, when I was coming up doing it, it was so just kind of like. most, you know, build, if you're going to have your windows clean on these big buildings, you're going to have the, the proper anchor systems in place for guys. to. Do they're something. basically saying that if you, if, 
80, all high rise buildings are required to have a, some sort of fall What's protection. What's considered high rise? Like what floor? Anything you can't get with a lift. So basically, what the building can do, if let's seven say seven stories. If, yeah, whatever. If the building's like seven stories, then the building, what they can do is they can, um, the, their procedures, the building will put in their building procedures for exterior building maintenance that everything is required to be done with a lift. Okay. Okay. But a lift goes to, you know, what can you get a 135? That's going to get you a seven, eight story building at max. So once you get, you know, to like a nine, 10, 11 story building, that's when, you know, you're out, uh, you're not doing that with a lift. Right. You know, now I have seen, again, I want to go back to Ocean 1910 stuff uh, because I have seen two to three story buildings have permanent roof anchor um, fall protection stuff put in place, you know, mm -hmm. so it's really all, it's really all about the building and what the building's tolerance for risks is. Um, now there's still a, a few different ways that you can like, um, you know, they have, they have a few clauses in there. One's like their due diligence, you know, so you can still do a building traditionally with your rope descent systems, as long as the building is showing due diligence that they are planning on having a roof anchor system installed. Okay. Is there a certain time frame on that? As far they're as they're very well, vague it about it, they're, very, they're just saying, "Hey, they're we're very gonna, vague about one it. of these days. We're, we're gonna, gonna do it one <laughs> of these days." Go ahead can and watch. I, can I, 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 I can drink on here. That's, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I can have, I can have a shot. shot I, I can, have, I got a, a, a toast to the outlaws. Yeah, just uh, don't get naked or nothing, and we're good, dude. <laughs> so, are you on the ground? Are you on the ground floor on this, or is this something that's what do you mean? been going on? Like in the roof anchor system, I mean, is this something that's you're like it's definitely has to happen now? And it's happening right now. It ha like 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 it, I put it this way: it's uh, no time like the present. You know what I mean? Right. And uh, the hunted are becoming uh, the hunters are becoming the hunted. You know, so before, if you're in the roof anchor business, you're you know trying to sell s snow to an Eskimo. Right. You know, now it's like you're selling water in the desert, you know, because I what a I, great I, analogy. The definition analogy. the definition of racketeering is creating a problem that you can only exactly. you know provide the solution to. So did right? you learn that did you learn that in Goodfellows when you were starring in that? Or? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, yes. Yes, my dude. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Racketeering. 101, oh, that's you know. Awesome. That's awesome, man. I'm going to do an online class. <laughs> <laughs> what made you get – so you, you were telling me the backstory kind of a little bit Um, what made you get into the anchor game. And then I want you to kind of touch on – you don't have to say exactly the amount of money that you're you're, you're coming out with, but if, if you, you want motherfuckers to get on this, you're going to have to give them you, – you're a salesman, sell. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> I'm, I'm all these things you claim, you know? Um, so basically, um, I just saw the timing was right. You know, kind of saw the timing was right. Kind of like saw what a lot of these other old timer guys were doing, you know, that a lot of these guys that are currently in the anchor business started out in the high-rise window cleaning business and then they all got out of high-rise window cleaning and went into the anchor business and then like all these guys are like flying around like fucking private jets and shit and like they're just like balling out of control and you're just like <laughs> hmm <laughs> i'm like i'm noticing a trend here right, right. <laughs> so, so are most of those guys getting out of the, the high are they keeping their crew going and still sell it, or are they? You I don't know, know what, what they're it's... doing. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. What are you gonna do? What am I gonna do right yeah, now? Yeah, I mean that's I... why he's here. I mean, why? What? What are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, well, I think that there's a very real opportunity with roof anchors across the country right now, and I think it's a good opportunity for window cleaners, especially, to jump in on. 
uh, being that we're exposed to the property manager and things like that. And if it's not something that, you know, you want to jump into and, you know, start slanging the installs, you know, right, right away, that's fine. But I mean, listen, if you can, it is an opportunity. Listen, 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 listen. If you can open a passageway for me, introduce me to somebody and make 10 grand off right. that. I mean, for, for, for a text message to me, you know, like, Oh, yo, Josh, this dude over here is like looking for anchors, you know? <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 forget about it. <laughs> oh man. That's great. <laughs> I got a little paisan in me, so I apologize, okay. you know, and then I live in Jersey. Yeah, it's just sad, you know, it's a like gaudy Italian yeah, shit. Uh, a product me, of you your know? environment. Yeah, I guess you yeah, could say you that, go. you know. So you work out of New York City too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in New- I'm in the city. We have we have a full-time um sales rep, business development rep, Tim, Tim Monroe. He's our golden fucking What's up, Tim? goose. What's up, Tim? Yeah, no, no, he's great. He's great. He's great. I mean, he's he, he's our golden goose, man. He's just like running around New York City. I mean, he's probably got I, I don't know, man. New, New York's a hot market and I hate to uh, talk bad about other markets but <laughs> you, ain't new york, you ain't new york <laughs> right, yeah 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 for sure we're all in ohio sure. we know what you're talking yeah we get yeah we get it we get yeah. it we definitely get I, that I, um i got a I, i'm interested What's to up? know uh do you miss uh do you miss just being that guy get up in the morning and slinging the, the squeegee do you ever miss Fuck it no he doesn't nah, well, that's a good nah, question no nah, no nah, nah, well, i mean you don't miss, you don't miss right less re- responsibility or any of that shit you know i mean there's a lot that comes with just being the guy that gets up in the morning right. and punches the clock, yeah i know i know i know i know but like i didn't have like i didn't have my golf membership right i love that girl <laughs> I, oh, I didn't that's have great my, good for you i didn't have my beamer then you know like you know here we go hey well, don't pull out your wallet and knock sales. us out with it enough, all right? <laughs> I want to yeah. kind of just chime in real quick. I want to just chime in real quick because he's he comes off as... This is my boy right here. This is my boy right here. Josh. He comes off Josh, a little I don't rash. Get along with. Josh is good people. Oh, a little rash. Oh, no, rash. <laughs> and rash. I love it. I love I love your personality, man. And I, I love I do. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm sorry no, I'm me. Don't have nah, sorry. man. Don't be I'm sorry. Don't, don't ever be sorry. Yeah, don't ever be sorry. Don't ever be sorry. Don't ever be sorry. Horrible apology. Everybody. No apologies, apology. apologies here. No apologies here. No, you don't have to apologize for being you. Still, like, I mean, you... You're coming off as one way. Which some is, people is, is demand right. apologies, some don't. You and know. then, <laughs> and then, oh man, and then, but you're you're, you're completely another way. And uh, you're whoa, very imagine that. Yeah, I, I, man, I dig it, man. I just, I dig, I dig what you're doing. I dig everything that's going on, and um, you, you're just, you know, you're just, you're ready to help. And again, there is some money tied on to the end of it. Hopefully, if yeah, things work out, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, go fucking capitalist. Uh, it's okay to make yeah, money. It's okay. It's okay. You, 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 you'll be all right. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. <laughs> Listen, all you got to do is just like shoot me a text message like a Josh, this property manager, and he's like, Roof Anchor's dog, you know. <laughs> So maybe maybe hit, hit you a Facebook messenger. Yeah, well, whatever, 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 whatever. Facebook uh, message you as long as you get me, on the, get me on the cuff there, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> get a piece. Get, get, give me a little taste. Yeah. Hey, we all got to yeah. wet our beak, you know what I mean? We all got to yeah, wet yeah, our yeah, beak. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah got to wet the beak. Yeah, got to wet the beak, beak that's all, bit. you know? Shit. No, I mean, listen, you know, I I, I, I get it. I get it, you know, I... Um, <laughs> What do you want from me? You know. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's switch gears a little bit. Um, <clears throat> let's let's take it. I mean, we can edit all this this part out, but let's. Okay. Oh boy. What's that one? What's that one cat's we name? Edit all this out. Yeah. We get... by you. What's his name? Chris. Uh, not Lamborghinis. No. Uh, oh, Lamborghinis. No, you're not talking no, about you're... that. You're talking about the other. Chris Lam- talking... Chris Chris Lambo. That's. My... That's my boy. That's my boy. I will no, no, say that. Your 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 other boy. The, Cartwright. Yeah. Cartwright. Is that the one you're talking about? That's yeah, that's who you I thought. See, that's well, who you thought. What was that about? Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I just want to say you guys thought I was gonna bring that up, but I didn't. And I want everybody Josh to know did. that I did. Josh <laughs> brought that shit up. 
<laughs> no, I've, I've, I've never heard of Chris Carr, right? Okay. See, I like that. That's good. I like that. Right. That's good. I Next question. Next question. Next question. Um, you want to impress me, bitch? Tim, Jump up in the air and stay there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's good. We don't need to speak on it, Gus. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, you got anything you want to rap with him about? Got anything yeah, you what's, a, what's, what's the percentage of your business between high-rise, residential, commercial, storefront, things like that? Oh, yeah. Where um, are you at that? We are um, – <laughs> hang on. Mike Stevens commented on your video. Hang on. Um we are totally re- okay 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 i have no fucking idea <laughs> um, that's a great answer that's and because good. because i have no fucking idea i'm going to go to my next point of how important it is for you to understand your business so what we're doing this year is we are literally uh keeping in you got to go back to the team three on that. You got to put like, I have no idea because I have such a good team. Yeah, I'm no, a team. no, really. Swat. What we're doing, what we're doing is we're breaking down three. We're we're going to be carrying three different sets of uh, QuickBooks or three different sets of financials uh, for you. So for this year in 2018, at the end of each month, and I, I can't stress enough how important it is for you to understand your numbers. Okay, so we're basically, you know. We're keeping a set of books strictly for storefront, okay? Strictly for residential and strictly for high rise. Right. So, in the past, I'm looking at this huge nut of, you know, hey, maybe we, uh, hang on. Rubes is calling me. Boy, Rubes is. Anyway, so in the past, like, you know, I'm looking at, you know, what what we gross for for the month, you know? Right. And it's, you know, what one big pot. Yeah, exactly. But you look at it and you're like, okay, well, well, that's fucking great. We made a hundred grand last month, you know, but, but where did we make it? Where did we, did we make it all in residential? I don't know. Do we make it in the storefront? Who knows? Maybe, you know, how how did, how did high rise go? I I think we, think we made money. Um, I'm not sure. You know, right. So what we're doing is we're breaking down storefront and then we're creating a P and L just for our, you know, storefront stuff. So it can look at storefront and say, okay, so storefront did 30 grand this month, uh, with the way with this was our margin, you know, um, why is TJ using twice as much gas as everybody? What the fuck? I got a fucking you know? lead right. foot, man. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. TJ, let, let me live, yo. Hey, I gotta have. <laughs> hey, I gotta have somewhere to put the bodies. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta yeah, tie yeah. out a little extra. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. You gotta dig the holes. <laughs> Um, and you know, same, same thing for residential. Cause I mean, residential, like if you're not careful, you know, residential can get like real sloppy real quick, you know, because you're spending a lot on marketing with residential. That's another thing too, with residential, we cut down to strictly just digital. We're like only doing Facebook as far as marketing goes for residential. And I got to tell you, I love it, you know, because in the past we were going through like 20 different we were using like home advisor right. and eddms right. and angie's list and then this right. and that and like we kind of just all got that off. out i just been, got uh, off angie's list last been, month i'll be honest Talking i've been angie's crushing list. it residential right. wise on facebook i've been smashing you have it with yeah, that's, 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 good that's good to just hear that's good to hear just with the residential hear. stuff you know because home you know most people are on commercial facebook. stuff we're running like again, linkedin yeah. ads yeah yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. On Facebook on but I like it because I can say, okay, so like, let's say I have a five thousand dollar a month budget or whatever my budget is, you know, I can spend that on Facebook, and it's only on like one. Mm-hmm. It's just being you can track your expenses a lot. And guess what? If it's raining, I'm turning the ads off for the day because ain't nobody calling anyway. You know, right, so it's right. like a it's yeah. an easier way. <laughs> Listen, yep. make more, spend less. Right. Simple. Right. That's all you gotta do. Make more, right. spend less. Right. You know. So. Um, what were your problems with Angie's list? Um, you know I, everything. You know everything. I mean, I did yeah. the thirty percent thing. You know, and and then also the only reason I do residential is so I can have cash flow to fund my commercial right. endeavors. Right. Okay. Yeah, so when I'm running a yeah. when I'm running an Angie's list, big deal. And they're taking 30 days to fund me on that. That really doesn't right. do me any good, all right? Because the only reason I want 
to do residential in the first place is because I want the cash right now. Right? <laughs> exactly. That's the best thing about residential. That is, uh, that is. Give me and, my money. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and to be honest, sucker. that's how I fund, that's how I fund my high rise work. Right. You know, I fund my high rise work with residential and right. it, it all becomes full circle. You know what I mean? It, it, right. it all comes full circle. Cause like the residential guy and, and, and this goes to like company, culture mm -hmm. all right company culture you know you can't just be this like freaking people aren't robots you know um uh, i want to drop in leadership and self-deception it's a book i don't know who the author is but it kind of really changed my perspective on how to deal with people but uh you know it's like it's not people aren't robots so you can't expect them to be robots just get up in the morning and go clean windows right. kind of you know teaches you you know just take a step back you know like our one guy johnny for example he's he's just not a morning person he's just not <laughs> he's right. just not so like if we're at six o'clock in the morning and john if i had I, I know that if i have anything important to talk to with johnny about that I'm going to wait until at least seven o'clock and make sure, you know, because, because he's just going to be a cranky negative Debbie downer. What's and I don't that? need that. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, it's not what I, it's not what I need. It's not what I want, you know? So I'm going to like, kind of, if I have a serious conversation I need to have with this guy, I'm going to wait until he's gotten up. He's had his coffee. He's, you know, I mean, you know, but it's like really diving in and, um, uh, well, we just had the Winter Olympics. What's what's that game that was playing with the uh, the curling? Yeah, yeah. Let me you know, see curling. You know curling. So 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 they're like they're like taking the broom. Like they're not touching. They're the, the, right. the well, So what is that? They're just, is that the they're, they're, that's they're the smoothing, curler. They're, they're they're taking. They're the rock the surface out in front. Yeah, to let the rock roll. Or the yeah, stone the rock. or whatever. Yeah, or the rock, the stone, but, whatever. Yeah. Stone. Yeah. You notice how they're never touching it, but it's like they're smooth. That that's what like kind of that, that's how my day feels like. <laughs> All right, you see, it's like I'm just curling my. I'm just. You I'm know, just, <laughs> just. You know, chicka chicka bang bang. You know, just right yeah, exactly. that motherfucker. I'm just. Exactly. I'm just making everything real slick like, so listen, it operates listen, properly. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I will not wipe your ass. Right. But I will like open the door and throw your throw you the roll. You right. know what I mean? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of window cleaning companies, owners, it, maybe it's just the company itself, but it seems like we have to coax these guys quite a bit. Like, you got to get them out there. And sometimes my wife is just, you know, she's she's Italian. She's like, cut them out. Mm. Fire them. Get rid of them, you know. And we're kind <laughs> of like, hey, cut, hey, cut, cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. No, cut them off. Cut them off. Uh, but cut off. sometimes <laughs> you got to grease the wheels. You got to get stuff going. You got to. You know, hey, I'll I'll get you a pack of smokes. I'll you know I'll I'll make sure you're okay to make me okay, and uh, we don't have to do it every day, uh, but you know it does happen. And I'm all about the money at the end of the day, not at the beginning of the day. I want my money at the end of the day. So sometimes listen, I gotta listen to I gotta touch get on that point. You know, I mean, and, and and I wouldn't advise doing that all the time. You know, or or making it to the point to where your employees are taking advantage of you. But if you know, and it's I'm a totally, thin line. I, ain't I'm nobody totally, taking advantage of Joshua. Show. I can assure you that. I'm just <laughs> saying that, that motherfucker totally, is super I'm duper totally skeptical. Totally <laughs> against, I'm totally against smoking, but you know, to touch on your point, if, if, John totally here, TJ. Smoking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's a filthy habit. Yeah, I, uh, hey, I but, smoke cigarettes. It's terrible. I wish I could stop. I'm trying uh, to. I'm actively oh, trying to stop, actually. But I'm going to smoke Just another one here in a minute. You threw, you threw that in there as you're making your point. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks. Saying, I'm that. just saying, it's but if you, if you know that, you know, whatever, this, this, whatever, this is Wednesday, you're, 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 boy's broke and he's fiending for a cigarette here listen you know here's a fucking pack let's get through the day let's get through the week you're getting paid on friday you give know. me my money back right yeah exactly <laughs> but again uh, my yeah, wife does has payroll to be, <laughs> it has to be handled with like you know that that does this is, does not mean that every time you need a fucking pack of cigarettes i'm gonna Right. Buy it for right. you. It just yeah. means that, hey, listen, kid, there's more important thing. You know, like, I need you on your A game. 
you know, mm-hmm. and if this is what you need to be on your A game, right, right, you know, give him a slap on the ass, send him on down go. the road. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was exactly. Packing cigarettes. It wasn't nothing dirty. <laughs> sure, <it> wasn't. <laughs> I was packing a thing of cigarettes. I don't. I ain't smoking um, a long time. I don't know. So, uh, no, nah, yeah. that's, that's more like one of the, like the the milds or whatever that fucking kids are smoking these days. I, I, I don't know. I can't keep up with that. Kids are, kids are fucking eating Tide Pods and trying right. to snort Sword condoms. Sword condoms. condoms. Yeah. They're not, smoking. Condoms. <laughs> They're not smoking. They're not that filthy. I mean, they got clean sex habits. ed nowadays. <laughs> Back in my day, we just did Snorting coke. condoms and eating <laughs> right. Tide Pods. Ugh. That's what they do now. Oh, my <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That ain't for me. <laughs> no, that ain't for no. anybody. No, I'm that's, not doing that's that. safe pregnancy to a whole new level. Hey, but, mm, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I, mm, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I we don't can know. just move on from this. Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. How competitive are you guys over there? How I mean, you guys have a lot of competition in your area? Oh my God! All right, so this is probably more of the uh, Josh that you see on uh, Facebook. <laughs> 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 I. Uh, I will, uh, some of, uh, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm an asshole. I really am. You know, That's okay. I, uh, Most of us you know, are. like, 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 like if I see like a guy like cleaning windows, like I'm like, I'm like hunting this guy down, you know, like some of, one of our best guys, Marco, like I literally got, he was cleaning windows and like, it was a day after my daughter was born. So it was like, I, like I already had the adrenaline pumping and stuff. And I was like, it was up for like two days straight. I'm like, was at the shop for some reason. I don't know. I had to do something like real quick. Well, you know, whatever, whatever. And I see this like fish window cleaning truck go by, and I'm like, hell no, <laughs> no, 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 no. And I'm Instant like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, I go up to this guy. I go up to this guy. I'm like, yo, who told you you could clean windows in Edison? You know, who, 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 who's, who said? This was okay. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I mean, but it's like really about differentiating yourselves and just like doing stuff different. You know, I mean, I, I like having, you know, we have nice new trucks. You know, I have a couple Fiat's. Um, I like the Fiat's especially because they're different looking. They're gimmicky. You know, my trucks are clean. My trucks are nice. You know, all my guys are, uh, just got House Call Pro, by the way. I don't know if any of you guys are using it. I fucking love it. What is it? Yeah. It's the dopest shit out, and uh, you'll definitely be shitting all over your competition if you use it. Really? That's awesome. Like yes. okay. What is so special yes. about it? What is so special about it? Give us the walkthrough of it. Is do- I, I, I have no idea. Oh, um, that's great. You're real helpful right you, now. Hey, you, this is probably going to be the most one of the most informative podcasts that Outlaw Window Cleaner Radio does, and I'm um, everybody know, jotting this shit that down. Thompson should be in like a new Goodfellas movie. That's about it. Yes. Yes. A. Yes. House I'm Call Pro is badass. B. Yeah. If you ain't on top of that shit, you're slipping. C. I don't know. I don't know what I, I, have to, I don't know. I don't know why I like it. I, I just do. <laughs> no, no, it's no, making no. me I money. Like it. I, I like it. I, it's I making like you it money. Because Let's just Jill, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, girl, the, the, the person that runs uh, our residential stuff says uh-huh. it's awesome. The guy, Jimmy Kaczynski, who's our um, the, the, the real Jimmy Kaczynski, um, who's our residential lead. He came, he came up to me today at the end of the day, and he said, this house call pro is the dopest thing out, and it's super professional. And listen, I take their word on it. Apparently, there's like this whole, like, there's like a lot of sign-off stuff. There's like, uh, oh, there's like a text message feature on there that like once you get somebody like logged in, um, you start like texting them like, hey, don't forget about your appointment tomorrow type thing. Mm-hmm. A lot of marketing stuff on there. Mm-hmm. Um, it has a lot, a lot of cool features. So I it know has that built in marketing. So is it like an app or something that the customer yeah, yeah, yeah. has? Yeah, it's an app. It's an, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an app, but it's like you just have like a little tablet. Um, uh, Jimmy was also telling me that like when he got to this customer's house, uh, he did like a walk around the outside to see if there's any pre-existing damages, and they had a spot for that on the app, no and he put shit. that in the app. Nice. They initialed. And then he started his job. Wow, I like so that. So it's okay. it's that, that 
so far. So I'm is like, it like kind of like Thumbtack, but way more badass? No, no, Thumbtack no, thumb, Thumbtack's like a no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. This is it's not, it's not. Whoa, 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 whoa! Easy killer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Got me all wrong. You got me all wrong. See, um, <laughs> so a house call pro. So that's something. I mean, that's really worth a look then. For sure. Yes, I, I would like. say how I would say House Call Pro is worth a look. Wow, awesome. Vladimir, not so much. Oh man, come on, dude. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I mean, whoa, 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 whoa! I don't even I don't even know who you're talking about. So that's that's uh, the the depth of my knowledge on I, that. Subject. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Don't don't <laughs> don't 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 watch me. Don't watch me watch TV. That's I'm, I'm, <laughs> don't watch me watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, no, we want people to watch us. I mean, yeah, we a do. little bit. We'd like yeah, maybe, it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We're narcissistic <laughs> in that way. I just want to put a non-disclaimer out his there. Ego right now. I am not responsible for a, anything you know... that comes out of your fucking mouth. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how many crews do you run? Do you oh, have a... my God. I don't cruise control. I control the crews. Right. Um. That's a little Wayne, little Wayne line for you. Yeah, I got you. We got you. We got yeah, you. We got 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 you. We Okay, um, five to six storefront crews on a daily basis. Wow. wow. And what's nice. the average ticket that they're bringing combined on, on a daily basis? So five to six crews, what are they bringing? 300 on the low end. We really don't like to our, – our, our average is like 350 uh, to 450. I mean, sometimes we have some good days where the – you know, they might hit like per a crew. five. Yeah, correct. correct. So a one to per two man crew. Yeah, but I mean, crew out. yeah, yeah. But I mean, this this stuff is like, it just happens. And, you know, you have so high, after you high. pay them. After you pay them, you're probably profiting a, a couple hundred dollars a day off the route. Yeah, yes, alone. exactly. Okay. So, but I mean, we also have, I have an admin. I have a, um, um, an account executive, I guess you would call him for the route work mm -hmm. because we have, we probably have, I don't know, 40, 45 grand worth of route work that gets done on a monthly basis. So we have account executive in there as well. So, you know, he, you know, he gets a, he gets a salary as well, but he kind of like just looks after everything. You know, he makes sure that he, it's like account retention at that point. You know, um, that part of the business we've really kind of maxed out, really not trying to grow that anymore. Right. It's, it's, I guess, I mean, it sounds like you have maxed it out, even in a New York type of market. I mean, no, no. I mean, there's this, there's this like a big A or triple A or A orange or something like that down in Florida. I mean, they're running like a hundred storefront guys, you know what I mean? So you're really wow. not maxed out at all. You know, but uh, to be honest, I mean, the, the the retail stuff, it causes me the less headache. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Nobody ever calls to complain about their freaking yeah, pizza parlor yeah. not getting done. You Yo, know, this is church's chickens. You did the zippity doos. I move on my window. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll yeah they they, we'll they punch the numbers on the register and then they lock the doors when they leave. That's what they do. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And those invoices get paid because right. they're not they're not high dollar amount stuff, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, we got uh, so what? We got like six. Are they cash guys. and carry? Are you are you invoicing? No, invoicing. Invoicing. Like, we do like Panera is uh, like one of our big ticket items. We probably do about ten grand worth of Panera bread a month, and um, you know that's all invoice stuff, you know. But then you get your diners, you get your pizza spots, yeah, so you get your cash. cleaners. Yeah, yeah, they do cash. You know, you kind of you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Have, you know, have you ever thought about? Have you ever thought about? Starting your own window cleaning calendar and putting yourself on every single month. Um, 
Yes. Yes. I yes. Mean, <laughs> that is awesome. All right. Now, you know, all my questions have been answered, so I'm good. Yes. You know? yeah. <laughs> I'm not covering yeah. it all, man. Good. 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 That's all we need. I, I, I'd be doing that. Uh, what, Are you also going to give us the Zoolander, link for that? The, the, the blue steel, the blue steel, the blue steel. like each. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to leave us a link for your calendar? In uh... yes. Okay. All right. Cool. Yes. Just long, make sure yes. you get that. Yes. Yes. There are nudes on the calendar. I don't. Well. <laughs> oh well, that's well. Well, that's, that's that just went somewhere. Else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just went somewhere. Shit went that's going up, y'all. <laughs> yeah, office bathroom. Uh, you guys <laughs> asked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got anything else for this gentleman? No, I think uh, that was uh, pretty damn good. Um, I don't want to uh, hem him up for the whole night. We talked to him for about 45 minutes. He uh, it looks yeah. like he's about to go party with Diddy right now. Yeah, so you look, are you yes. about to go meet Beyonce and Jay-Z and have, you know, you know this, that, or the no. third? You know, going he might go no. get slapped by... He might maybe. go get slapped by Salimes in the All elevator. Right, maybe not. No, 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 no. It is uh, it is nine o'clock here on the East Coast. I am going to be uh, getting in bed here soon, and I'll. Uh, I mean, it's like grind time, you know. So like this, yeah, like, yeah kind of. I kind of been like this winter. I was like, you know, just like you know, going out, drinking a lot, partying a lot. So I've been like kind of training, like throughout the month of March. I've been like on like a rigorous, like up early kind of in prep. It's like I game time. All, right I now. think we all good, do that good for in you. this business. I think yeah. all, well, no, I'm saying some you know, of us like, are no, a little I'm... rounder than others, but we do still get up and get ready for the grind a little bit early. Get ourselves trained out, you know, ready for the the big push, you know. I don't yeah, know. I mean, most of springtime only comes around once a year, so yeah. it's like it's you know, once a year. That's it's, spring. Man, it's, it's our time. You know, this is where Easy we start we start making that bankroll. So yes, yeah, sir. yeah, that was uh, yeah. awesome. Thanks Thank year. you, Josh Thompson. It was really nice. There's anything, you, sir. Thank anything you, sir. else I could do? You know, just let me know. Yeah, man. Anytime you want to come back, Next you just let us know. Okay. Yeah, I we need a hit. We got you. you. Yeah. We got you. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Take it easy, buddy. Later, bro. Later. Well, that was that was pretty awesome for our. Uh, was, I told you he's a good friend, dude. Our friend. Um, so, I got unfortunately I have to get up in the morning and still turn a squeegee. So <laughs> let's not uh, let's not forget that that all three guys here are cleaning windows. What's the weather full supposed time. to be like where you That's guys? That's all good. Clean windows shit. full time. What's oh. like the weather? Yeah, are you guys um, gonna be able to wash or? Yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna <laughs> try. I'm gonna try. Uh, I try every morning. I mean, even if it's raining, I go do the inside because that's how I roll. That's how I keep the business that I've got. I do those restaurants inside and out once a week. But if it's raining, I still go do the inside because, uh, um, you know, I want shit to look good and I want to keep continue to get paychecks. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm out doing it one hundred, um, I get one hundred percent of the monies. So <laughs> and I like Bro, some I, monies. <laughs> I, ro- I rolled up to the house <laughs> today. Yeah. Look at that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I rolled up to a house today, my first house of the day. Literally drove a half hour to get there. Uh-huh. Roll in, start breaking that thing down. Yeah. And she's like, This just doesn't seem like a good day to do windows. <laughs> like, you can call last night. You can call me this morning, you know, before right. I roll out. So that got rescheduled. Man. You know? and, uh, sometimes you just gotta roll with that, man. I, it right. it happened. My it's guys a long did. winter. I guys did today, uh, my wife and I, um, we had two business meetings today. Mm-hmm. Uh, one was for, uh, we're, I'm thinking about purchasing this gentleman's Again? retiring. Yeah, another one. Uh, Again. This gentleman's, he's retiring from hood cleaning, okay? And he's okay. got this, I mean, just chunk of accounts that okay. have him eating out of his hand, okay? Okay. I've been trying to push into hood cleaning, um you know, a little bit over the last couple of years, we've got a few accounts, nothing crazy, but right. you know, biz work. Uh-huh. Um, so I t- took this gentleman out to lunch with my wife today and we, you know, we, we came to terms. Um, he told us what he wants. We said, let me think about it. So we're, we're we haven't come to terms, but we know very fair, fair deal. Wow. We have the opportunity to add possibly about $70,000 more a year to, oh, yeah, to, uh, to the to the pile, man. Shut up. Quit lying. 
What you gonna do with yeah, all thought... that money? What you gonna do with all that money? You don't even need all that money. I don't know. It's, it's I don't know if I'll ever. It's it's just about the growth. When are you I, gonna be at home? The, yeah. When are you gonna be at home? When right. are you gonna enjoy well, that so money? That's the thing. When are you, you gonna enjoy that know, money? You guys know I have a problem retaining employees no matter how much well i know you have a problem retaining employees you have a problem with being at home and doing you know what i mean you're always fucking out working you when are you going to enjoy all this money that you've made besides just hanging out in the basement a couple hours with us every week i want to know i'm gonna get yelled at about that too yeah this is the second night you're down there (laughs) (laughs) so i'm gonna probably have to hang hang uh whatever fuck her Anyway. Yeah, right. You didn't mean that. She's gonna watch that, and you're done. <laughs> Are you gonna watch better than shit? She hey, I want to know. See, I want to know. Is this podcast the same as the last podcast? Do you have pants on right now, or are you in your boxers again? You want me to show you? How? Yeah. Much, what do you guys yeah. want to bet on? Uh, um, I'm gonna say he's in his he's in his boxer briefs. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. What do you say? I'm I'm gonna say you're in your underwear too. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go, okay? You guys ready? Yeah. Dude, that's fucked up, man. Dude, you, I am hey, in my underwear. Though. Hey, you you, uh, you didn't wipe. You, you messed yeah, up. Yeah, you, 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 you missed a missed big a spot. hairy spot. Oh, missed, I, there's a big hairy spot. <laughs> Guarantee right you're right. <laughs> Guarantee you're right. I think you need to go have your braids redone on your ass. They're starting <laughs> to fray a little bit. Yeah, you, you, your cornrows corn need ran, re-ran. You need, your cor- cornrows need re-ran. <laughs> Y'all better edit that shit. Nope, it's all going oh. in, dude. I, you know, I, well, whatever. I tried to whatever. tell you guys, you were like, oh, in the middle of this, like, oh, you're gonna edit it out. It's like Josh isn't editing any fucking thing out. TJ is. He, <laughs> he just like he wants to cut this and cut that all the fucking time. That is not the way this works. <laughs> I tell Do you what's for. cut out. I would appreciate you cut it out, but I'm not, dude. Thing, it, I... You shouldn't have did that. <laughs> whatever man. It whatever what, what? fucking hairy fucking ass well big deal it's not like your wiener was hanging out or nothing it's all good oh actually we might get flagged on youtube for nudity yeah god Maybe. damn it well blur it I'll, out i'll have to blur your ass out yeah blur, blur it out because tj's a fucking went to school to edit video <laughs> Uh, this is I your went passion? to school to build. No, I went to school to build houses. I started cleaning windows. <laughs> oh, you're as a matter building of fact. A podcast now. And no, I'm not building anything. I, you know how I fix computers with a fucking hammer. That's how I fix <laughs> computers. <laughs> I'm not. Anyway, let me get Any, back to me for a minute, okay? Uh, Can I talk about me for yeah, just a you second? Just looked at your ass. Thompson. Now you want to talk about you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do my best, Josh Thompson, right. about me. Everybody's watching me. this because they want to hear me talk, not you. That's probably <laughs> You're probably right about that. No. Everybody likes you way more than me, Josh. It's it's a problem. I don't think I don't think that's true. I, think so. I don't know. I've got all kinds of friends. I don't have any friends. Everyone lashes out at me. I don't know why. It might be <laughs> my boyish good looks. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think so. That's, I mean, that's hurtful. That's fucking hurtful. Oh, I, I would never I say anything like that, that about breath. you. Oh, you, that was a, more of a thinking out loud situation. <laughs> okay, you know, well, I'll let you and Tim talk for for a few seconds. I'll stop talking. Here he goes. He's about to pout again. Yeah. That's gonna gonna really what is about. going on? That's gonna well, really that's piss it. him hey, off. That's, I quit, man. I quit. <laughs> God damn it! Twice I, today. I quit again. So like, there it is. I quit it. again. So or, you guys go. You're, you're like one of my best friends here. I want you to know that I'm being quiet now so you can fucking continue to talk about yourself. Okay, so listen. Um, where was I? <laughs> you were showing us your bare ass uh, on yes. camera. That's what... We won't. We Cameras. won't pick up. We're going to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever you do, just edit that out, okay? Hey, anything... <laughs> Anything for ratings and yeah, more yeah. <laughs> Hey, this is where we store our large selection of dildos in Josh's ass. <laughs> so, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> we done wretched it. <laughs> so, uh, who, uh, man, I, I'm interested to find out. I mean, what are your guys' thoughts off of the first episode? Is I mean, I know we didn't get hundreds of views and hundreds of likes, but uh, for our little following, uh, 
everyone seems to enjoy it so far, right? I mean, I haven't heard anything negative yet. Have you guys? I got a one or two negatives, but that was it. I mean, I, I think people are in shock right now a little bit. Shock? But, yeah, kind of the the cussing and all that. They're not used to that in the podcast in the window cleaning world. You swear. Are you kidding me? No. So when I said the F bomb, the S bomb, and the I think P-bomb, I held back a little bit more this, people, this yeah. time, haven't I? Well, yeah, it wasn't I that bad. We'll it's just, just a we'll little nick. Clean, I, I guess we'll we have to clean it up then for um, everyone so they can listen to it at church or for whatever. For two people? <laughs> I mean, I it's, it is what I mean, it is. I mean, this is common vernacular here, folks. This is right. 2018. We're all window cleaners. And we're all window cleaners. I mean, if you can't <laughs> right. do shop talk, what? I mean, I don't understand. Well, I mean, what do you want? Yeah, so, okay. today the birds in the trees were beautiful. And they were chirp, <laughs> chirp, chirping while I cleaned the windows. I respectfully said, ma'am, you have a wonderful home. No, ma'am, fuck that shit. Bitch, get out of my way so I can wash these windows. <laughs> now, they're not going to like that. You know, I don't understand. Uh, I mean, I get it. Know. I get it. I get it. I do. I understand, you know. But I don't think we're that bad. Nah, it's not that bad. Not at all. I think we got, like, like, like childish humor. You know what I'm saying? Bit. Like, we're, we're kind of, you know, oh, wieners and shit like that. But, I mean, come hey, on, dude. Speaking of wieners, <laughs> I'm kind of touching mine a little bit right now. <laughs> I am just in underwear. Oh, man. So, here's some more negative reviews for everyone. Um, I hope everyone's... Uh, the big guy in the orange shirt was touching his wieners yeah, all the time. Yeah, I had to turn it off. That's Thumbs all he did down. the whole time. Touchdown, my, my wiener. Uh, he still had eight <laughs> fingers left. All of these things. stink right why, now. Hey, why does why does Tim look like he's on Mars right now? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one, uh, you know. So uh, people are some people were a little uh, <laughs> some people are uh, a little upset with our language. We'll try to watch it. We'll try to be mindful Ooh, of that I'm as well. Upset with our language. Um, just, you know, uh, Tim said he got a couple of uh, reviews that were, you know, they but, just like, kind of like our, our language, you know, but, you know, we'll try to work on that. And we, what's know, their name? No, we're not. What's their name? <laughs> I'm just helping <laughs> out. What's, hey, bad. what's his name? Well, so, this shit in house. I'm going to bring it up later. Yeah. Um. No, we, well, we will try to work on that, guys. So if someone, you know, either one of those people check this episode out and it's you know we found out we tim told us at the up. end of this episode uh, in our defense <laughs> yeah we so haven't even heard about we would have worked on that out. yeah yeah we'd have, we would have worked on that on the way through it instead of at the very oh, yeah, end let's be play, like hey let's play me for swear this. so come much on. Come on, Tim's yeah, Marty McFly from the future. Yeah, He's I'm, coming yeah, back right you know, now, five minutes. I want to know what the, the people that do watch this and listen to this, I want to know everyone's I want comments Underneath the YouTube video or wherever you're viewing it at, I want some comments. I want you guys to know or let us know how you want us to do it. If you guys want us to uh, stop using fuck shit piss, we will stop using fuck shit piss. Um, so can we just, still say shit? We can. Well, we can say shit, but fuck's a word, and that's my word. So I, uh-huh. I know what pe- you know. I know because. My aunt and uncle, uh, they're old school, and they. When I talk to my aunt, my like, aunt Barb, I fucking love you. She hates that shit, so <laughs> uh, I have to watch it around her. So if you guys want me to watch my mouth, I will. You know, just tell me, and I'll do my level. It's best. hard for me. It's part. It's part of my personality. Hey, right. It's my. It's it's part of my vernacular as well. But I will try to watch my mouth, as you know. But I'm sure you know. We also are out there with customers daily, and we do not use those. Oh kind yeah, of no, no. Over. I don't be like, hey, uh, my name's uh, TJ. I'm here to clean your fucking windows. I don't do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm just here talking to Josh and Tim, and Josh. Right. Yeah, you know. Talking so, to a bunch of window cleaners. Yeah, I'm talking you know, to a bunch of window cleaners. This isn't meant for like you know to sit down at dinner and, and you know play it in the background while you're. Uh, Hanging out with the have a sherry yeah, after so, dinner. Yeah. Right, sherry. Um, I'm not sure when the next episode will be. I'm not really sure how good this episode even was. So, um, uh, I don't know. I Does think we got some have gold any in there, Terry. Thoughts or anything they want to try to round out this episode with? We probably got maybe five, ten minutes to go here. Um, I do. What do <laughs> you got to say, buddy? Uh. 
you know, I just pick it back up from there. I was going to say some stuff. I... Uh, well, now, I'm going to leave that in. And, I was um... feeling a bit ornery. <laughs> what? I was feeling a bit ornery. Oh, yeah. Don't be ornery. Um, don't okay, be I won't. ornery. We don't, there's no need to be. It was all a misunderstanding. Um, it wasn't even about that. Oh. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll say, come on, yeah, it was. Come on, it's all good. You know, oh, whatever. Hey, if listen. there's any, hey, if there's any ill will, it ain't going to be on our part. How about that? Let's no, just leave it like good, that, right man. there. Let's it, let's it's leave it right good. there. Good, man. If there's I, any I, animosity, it, it isn't on our end. We're all, it's all gravy, baby. You know, I'm bipolar, so yeah. there's that. And so am I. I'm bipolar. <laughs> Josh is bi bipolar. And fucking Tim is like non-existent. He just like he don't even like talking to us. So um, <laughs> he barely talks to us. He, you know, so it's it's all good. He like sits in his room with his door closed in the closet, listening to Bon Jovi albums, making. I meth. love Bon Jovi. You know, he's making <laughs> meth. So in the meth yeah. shack, live from well, the you... meth shack. I thought that's. Hey, what listen, I'm doing there, hey, let me tell you guys something real quick. There was a bust here uh, okay. two days ago. Meth. We lost and, him. And we lost him. Josh looks like he's pooping right now. <laughs> he's like, oh, my God. See if he'll let me get it this time. <laughs> he looks like Mo right there. Save uh, that, uh, and I'll I'm Photoshop trying. that at the end of the episode of, like, him with Afro puffs or something, or a wiener sticking out of his mouth right here. Oh, uh, yeah, that's over. good stuff. <laughs> okay, yeah. so that is the group. <laughs> um. Yeah, we nah, keep I... we keep dropping people. Uh, Josh Josh is completely gone, um, so it's just me and him, uh, me and uh, Tim here. We me and Tim barely like each other. What? This? <laughs> we're not even really we're not even really cool. You know, you guys. You know, I want you guys to know that now. Um, we, we. What did I do now? We, he's Batman, and I am the Joker. And tonight we're gonna get dressed up and jump off of rooftops together. <laughs> That's gonna be a good time. But That's just be... as long as everyone knows that our outfits are under Rue's outfits, so he's got a t-shirt <laughs> with a cape sewn under the back and a little pair of shorty shorts, and uh, I I'm... have the same. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking vodka, running down the road. Yeah, That's what yeah, we're doing yeah. Today. <laughs> <laughs> da -na 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 Gonna get big foam booms. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know what happened to Josh. I think we I lost think Josh. Done. Yeah, I think he's Josh is done, and um, it's a pretty good podcast. I think um, uh, we tried it a little different. Um, we like I said, we need comments on these uh, on these uh, episodes, so we know what to do moving forward. We want this to be um, organic. Um, I guess we want to build our podcast the way uh, Perry Tate builds a reach it brush. We need a view, we need feedback from the viewers to make our construct the podcast work properly. So we're right. in the in the beginning stages of our own uh, podcast hyd hydro blade. Um, <laughs> uh, to, nice comparison. Uh, yeah. To uh, you know, we're we're trying. We want your guys' feedback to uh, build the best podcast. You know, so right. uh, you know we're going through the evolutions. You know, we'll we'll probably end up uh, having pretty colorful ends on the end of our podcast. You know, color to match your business. You know, and uh, no, we seriously, we just wanna we want this to be a podcast for the window cleaners. Buy some window cleaners. So you guys can tell us what you want, what you don't want, what you like, what you don't like, um, or just not like it at all, whatever, right. you know, but um, go to uh, www.outlawwindowcleaner.com. Yes, it's sir. Just some black diamond squeegee rubber. They carried the T tops for the Sorbo style channels and the, you know, legend style channels. They they also carry on the website take both T-top and round top, so you can have both. Um, oh. uh, you can uh, buy some T-shirts on there, black diamond T-shirts like this one right here. Um, That's a sexy T-shirt yeah, there, boy. Yeah. It's got the uh, outlaw window cleaner like above my shoulder here kind of on the back. And, um, you know, that's only 15 bucks. so those are like a steal, man. We, um, we're going to be offering outlaw window cleaner T-shirts that we can you can customize with your business logo on the sleeve, you know, like a little special deal just for you or just for you and your employees, you know what I mean, whatever. You want to, 
you know, uh, an outlaw window t-shirt, a window cleaner t-shirt with, uh, you know, Josh the window cleaner on the sleeve or uh, sure shine windows on the on the sleeve or something like that. Yeah. Insert, nice. yeah, insert your uh, company name uh, here, and we'll put it on the sleeve. You know what I mean? That'd be dope, right, guys? Um, yeah. Stickers, uh, coffee mugs. Um, what am I forgetting, Tim? I think that covered it, right? Black Diamond squeegee rubbers. We got a meet and greet with Josh Show. Yeah. We can, yeah. So, yeah, we can go with that. Yeah. Date night with Josh. J date night with Josh. Um, you just yeah. got to... That's that's gonna be a bidding war. I can tell you that right now because he's I'm super handsome. Uh, he's super a teddy bear, sexy. Super, super sexy. sexy, and you yeah. know don't he he dresses up nice. He dresses up real nice. So you guys uh, keep an eye out for that on uh, www.outlawwindowcleaner.com. You know, <laughs> check check in daily and see if you can bid on a date with Josh yet. And uh, we'll uh, talk him into this. Yeah, we'll talk him into it one way or the other. Um, we will talk him into it. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to uh, Josh Thompson for coming on the podcast and being Absolutely. our first official guest of the Outlaw. Broke Wars. our cherry. Yeah, he broke our cherry. Um, I hope, uh, I mean, my interview skills are, you know, so so. I don't know about Josh. As Tim asked some good questions, I think Josh, I think, did too. I don't know about me. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, we're going to try to get some more people on here. We'd like to tr try to maybe get uh, maybe Richie Blue on here or. Uh, Perry Tate or Mark Tanner yeah. or uh, Jacob Dell. Geez, you should have been the first guest. You could have been, but you backed out on us, you bones. Right, hey, dude. Uh, <laughs> Todd Four. Uh, shit, the Backflip Boys. You guys can come on if you want. We'll have the Backflip Boys on. You motherfuckers get on, do some ninja tricks with your or editore shit, you know. You know, shout out to them, you know. Ba backflip Boys on YouTube. Check them out, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, hey. You know, this is an equal, we're an equal opportunity offender. You know, you're going to stay butthurt forever. Um, this ain't the, we ain't the guys for you. <laughs> you know, hey, shit. Uh, but, you know, hey, whatever, it is what it is. Uh, we, uh, you know, we're, we're just thick as thieves, man. We're, we're all from Ohio and we're thick as thieves and we want this to be badass. This podcast our website, the products we pump, we want it all to be badass, and uh, we're gonna do this to the hilt, and we're gonna we're gonna do this with your guys' help, and uh, we appreciate it, and uh, thanks for the listen, for uh, T Squeegee, Outlaw T Squeegee, uh, Tim Huber, um, and uh, Joshua Shof, man, we uh, we'll check y'all later, Outlaw baby. Talk to you.